Whenever President Reagan spoke to a farmer group, he almost always told the same joke. And the joke is this. A farmer had a piece of creek bottom land that was not developed. The land was covered with rocks and brush. It was a complete mess. So the farmer started removing the rocks and he started taking away the overgrowth. Eventually he cultivated the soil and he fertilized it. He started to grow a garden with vegetables and corn and the land started to look really good. So one Sunday after church, he invited the pastor to come to the land and see what he had been doing. Well, the minister arrived and he was overwhelmed and began to say, look what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. These are the biggest tomatoes I have ever seen. These green beans and squash, they are wonderful. The Lord has truly been at work here. And look at the height of that corn. God has really done a great job here. Well, the farmer was getting a little aggravated that the pastor didn't recognize all the work that he had done. So finally, in aggravation, he blurted out, Reverend, I wish you could have seen this land when the Lord was doing the work alone. You see, we have been called to be stewards of this world, but we've also been called to be messengers with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the debate between God's providence and man's free will has been argued by theologians for centuries, and they'll still continue to argue about it. May I suggest that we don't worry about how God works and how God does what he does? Instead, we just do the work that God has called us to do. In Acts 1.8, Jesus said this, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. How the Holy Spirit does what he does, I don't know. What really bothers me is how God would love us so much that he would give us this great gift. But we are empowered with the Holy Spirit. To do what? Well, to share Jesus, that's what. How God does the miracle of the new birth and redeems us when we accept Christ as our personal savior? Well, frankly, that's God's business. I've just been called to be a witness of what Jesus did for me, not just to my town, but throughout the whole world. And whether I go or we help support and send missionaries all across the world, our job, our work, is to share Jesus with the entire world. Jesus said the field is ready. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 37, he says, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest is truly plenteous, but the labors are few. Jesus just needs a few good farmers because the fields are ready to be worked. Let God worry about how he does his job and how he works. And you, just do your job today. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it so that you can see more videos from Cross Creek Foundation and Church.